So, if you made it to part three of tonight's videos, thank you for watching. Uh, really, I'm just continuing these going because I'm trying to stay in habit as well as I'm trying to just continue a uh, conversation mainly with myself right now, hope, hoping to generate some viewership, uh, really to gain some commenters so I can get in on some conversation and get to know my audience. I'm trying something new tonight. The previous video about being worthy or unworthy, about being the uh, next video about being shy or not shy. I was thinking maybe kind of continuing this video along those same lines and talking more about on uh, a subject of whether or not we should feel uh, I don't know, approachable. I, I kind of touched down on this in the first video a little bit, but I, I wanted to elaborate on the idea of Am I ugly? Am I approachable? Or am I just plain too intimidating to draw any attention? Am I having a hot guy complex where, where I'm just so damn sexy, people are too afraid to approach me? Or am I too damn ugly, people are afraid to approach me? Uh, I think this is common with people who are fairly attractive. I don't know. This might also be common with people who are fairly unattractive we're all playing the same game here so I think it's it's kind of a a difficult game I mean that's why they call it a game uh, the law of attraction or whatever uh, I'm a lonely fellow right now boy would I like to spend more time with someone rather than sitting here talking to a camera with a ring light looking me in the face that's kind of why I'm doing these, so maybe I can reach out and get to know some of my people. I don't know if I'm ugly. I honestly have a complex about that. Sometimes I feel like terribly hideous. Sometimes I feel like, damn, I might be, I might be somewhat attractive. I might be maybe a little bit over the top. I don't know. I've been growing this hair for most of my life. I think it should be worthy of something. I see all these people that say, oh man, I like a dude with long hair. This shit is forever long so much that just like the rest of you during these uh quarantine times during 2020 i've considered chopping it off but then the type of people i'm attracted to or the type of people that are attracted to i guess guys with this i don't know i don't really know would i be better off with short hair i don't know am i too ugly for short hair part of why i have this long hair is it helps sh helps me uh, shy behind it it's my shroud it's kind of like wearing a hoodie it's, it's kind of a nice thing to be able to hide behind all this hair especially when you're shy like me I'm shy but not too shy I'm not afraid to uh, play my cards but at the same time I am reserved I'm a man of few words which is uh, a topic for an, maybe a future video but uh, yeah, I do kind of have that complex. Do I feel ugly or unapproachable because I'm ugly or unapproachable because I'm attractive? What do you think? Do me a favor. If you find this at all ugly, go ahead and leave a hate comment below. Man, you ugly. Man, dude, what the hell are you doing? Are you even really a dude? Without this facial hair, man, people think I'm a chick all the time. Most people think... Uh, and yeah, maybe that's what it is. Am I an ugly, an ugly chick? Attractive dude? Ugly dude? Attractive chick? I don't know. I'm really confused these days. I don't know what I am, to be honest. And this is dead honest. I really don't know where I am on the scale of attractiveness. One, the ugliest I could ever be. Ten, dime all day, right? Most attractive person out there. I... Uh, I joke around saying I'm like the poor man's Jason Momoa, the poor, the poor man's Aquaman. Because uh, I do have a little bit of belly on me. I do have a little bit of a dad bod going on right now, which I do need to... I'm, I'm even considering doing a series of videos of showing off the dad bod and the process of hopefully getting rid of it soon through exercise and diet. Oh, leave a comment below if you think that I am attractive. Hell, that'd be really awesome. Boost my ego. I'm all 
all day long boosting everybody else's ego as much as I can I do like to uh, boost people when they're feeling low I do like to help people gain some confidence so they do feel the desire to take their shot in life with others starting relationships whatever that kind of thing so I don't know hook me up <laughs> leave some comments below if you are watching this video please I really need to understand uh, what you think what you out there in YouTube land what you out there in uh, my other social media think is rocks ugly is rocks attractive I don't know this kind of is a reflection on what I'm asking the rest of you how you feel do you feel ugly do you feel attractive do you know you're attractive but still feel ugly do you know you're ugly but feel like a 10 all day you know I admire those and I might be one of them those who are terribly ugly I don't give a shit don't give a damn how they're perceived because their confidence is brighter than their exterior that's something to admire then you got the the, the beautiful people who are trash on the inside I hope I don't fall in that category but who knows might have broken a few hearts in my time hopefully not broken too badly uh, if you are watching this and I have broken your heart out there, I do apologize. Greatest harm can come from the greatest of intentions. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> uh, it's getting a little hot up in here. And my hair is doing something funky now that I moved it around and uh, it's like tickling my face. <sighs> so, do continue if you're watching this video to leave those comments because I, I'd really like to know I want to thank you for watching this and if you watched this journey all the way through this series I, I am impressed I break it up in in about 10 minutes or so intervals because I do like to split it up a little it helps me kind of mitigate uh, who's watching what content and where to go with that content if I'm engaging my audience at all, it helps me show which videos and what topics and whatnot are helping. Uh, also, the different lighting and the different style of video, the different filters I'm using, I am testing out different things. So it does help me understand which videos are working and which ones aren't. Because I also believe in repair, maintain, improve. I'm in a state of repair. I got to maintain it. And then I've always got to improve it. I'm trying different lighting, trying different... Uh, setups. I have two microphones that I've been trying and I cannot for the life of me figure out how to get them to connect to my phone and record my voice. I'm trying to improve my sound and if anybody has a clue on how to do that please go ahead and pass that through because I've been watching video after video. I've been testing different things. I'm a musician for Christ's sake. God's sake. Fuck's sake. I don't know. What am I supposed to say there? I'm a musician. I should know how to do this and I don't. I should edit that out. Is that insensitive of me? I. Whoops. I don't. I am trying to figure out different, different things to figure out what to do to make these videos any better. Whether this is a successful channel or not, I'm going to continue to keep posting videos because it is something I feel I need to do. I need to make this happen. I need to, to. Uh, try to release the creativity that I have I need to record who I am to the world and upload myself to the internet so should I ever expire at least something of myself has been captured thank you for watching there's gonna be more to this series because now I, now I just thought of my next topic so proceed to the next video if you care to learn more about what I'm talking about <laughs> I don't even really know what I'm talking about Finding a topic for YouTube for these videos is interesting. I had a notepad that had a whole bunch of ideas, and half the time I don't even go off that notepad. I'll spend weeks coming up with new ideas and new new topic conversation pieces, and oftentimes I'll hit the camera button and I'll forget every one of them. 
and just invent a whole new topic on the spot. So that's why I'm stuttering. That's why I'm all over the place with some of these videos because I'm kind of winging it. I didn't intend to wing it. I had a plan. And a lot of these videos I had a plan. Preemptive ideas and still end up winging it. Forgive my stutter. Maybe that's the ugly thing about me is I, I'm too indecisive. I don't know what to... I can't pick a... a dis, make a, a decision strong enough to just run with it. Other than hitting that record button. That's the only thing I know in this world is to hit that record button. And I've gone off on a tangent on this video, so I'm going to end it here. But go ahead and continue to the next one because I'm about to start a new topic. Thank you.